Now, as shocking as it might be to hear, Chuck and I are not perfect. <laughs> but one thing we are is persistent. And so we find ourselves back at a mine that we visited twice already. And this time we're going to go all the way in. Because when we do find a mine that we're not able to go in for some reason, we figure out a way to get in. And this one is no exception. And we spent the winter season prepping and preparing for this and several other mines that we discovered last season but were at the time insurmountable. Amen. This time we're doing it and like I said this one's got sentimental value for us so we've been looking forward to this one for a long time. So there it is. You've seen it before but it looks a little bit different every time you visit. And this time, we're going to go into the depths. The beast. Exactly, the beast. There's a very reassuring echo in here, which uh, is a sign of a, a mine that's very stable and has uh, got some nice solid rock walls. So I'm grateful <laughs> for the echo. Old stick in here. Old stick with a frog on it. Now I don't know if this is coming across on the camera, but in the mud I can see two faint lines. And what I'm thinking is that that's the mud sort of indented over the uh, the rails underneath because I'm walking on something right now it feels like a board but it could be rails so uh, that's pretty cool just keep going assuming I can stay on it this, uh, this board I'm walking on now is a lot easier than what I was walking through before See the rail now. Uh, getting more out of the mud here, that's a good sign. And like I said, there's the rail right there. That's quality rail too, that's not the strips. Ah oh yeah, solid ground, this is nice. And the mine just keeps going. so nice to be out of that mud. It is so nice to be out of that mud. The tunnel's taller now. Good things happen when you get out of the mud. You know what I lied to you, those are not quality rails, those are the strips. You can see here the, uh, the strip on top of the wood there and there so so scratch what I said earlier about the quality of rail this is strip land and this just keeps going that way some sort of pig or piece of wood right there the remains a pipe right there The uh, 
the ceiling keeps abruptly changing height in here, so I'll be walking along just fine one minute, and then uh, the next I'll bang my helmet on the ceiling of the uh, out of here. Man, this is a long time. Some water coming in here. something here. It looks like a bend, actually. Whoa. And that's what happens when you uh, go through the board. Came uh, friendly with a the wall there. Yeah, that curves off to the right of there. Man, I cannot tell you how many times I bonk my helmet on the ceiling here. I'm trying to look down to see where I'm stepping. But then when I'm doing that, I can't really pay attention to uh, where the ceiling is. So it becomes a question of do I want to trip or bump my head? I swear I seem to be doing both. Okay. Like that. Man, got some. Uh, Carved out area here. very short right there. That's where it's really, really tall here. And then it gets really short. Right there. Ah, I see. There's 
something above us here. Okay, so that's what I was looking up and seeing. Big stope up there. Okay, so we got this here. And uh, you can see they, they worked a bunch of material out of it there. And then uh, this debris around my feet. That's my pole right in front of us. That's not from them. Uh, this debris around my feet. to get up there and get the ore down. And then the tunnel keeps uh, going ahead of us as far as I can see. There's a amount of water dripping down here. It's not that big of a curve. Huh. You can see a, a mud line or a water line along the walls. So obviously it's been wetter or muddier here in the past, but happy to see it lower now. And we still have that echo, which is encouraging. Okay, I'm gonna go as far as I can, guys, but I don't think I can go that much farther. I'm uh, doubled over right now. I'm still bumping my head. I don't feel like crawling through this shit. Gotta be careful not to unleash a big one though. That's crazy. 
Now watch the one in front of me starting to go. There's a big chunk. Okay guys, I don't know if this is something you can see through the camera or not, but back there, the, uh, the mine looks like it just kind of tapers off. Um, I'm down on my knees now, and um, up ahead I can sort of see where the, the roof of the mine and the mud sort of converge, and uh, that would not be pleasant to get up into. And I don't think the mine goes much past that. Um, it looks like it just kind of tapers out there. So I'm going to wrap things up at this point because I just don't see much point in continuing. Um, yeah. I'm headed back out now with something interesting. I noticed underneath all this mud that washed out when I walked through it is uh, river gravel. You can see lots of bits of quartz in it. And this is what they were looking for. This is uh, this wasn't a load mine. They were back here after the gravel in the ancient river channels. And so they uh, they obviously tapped into it back there, and it's been washing out down through here. Like I said, I um, I can't feel any rails or anything underneath my feet, but and maybe that they're covered up underneath all this gravel. In other words, it may be that a sufficient volume of gravel and stuff washed out and then this mud formed on top of it that, uh, you know, just completely covered up the rails.